Okay, let's let's go. Let's start the league, play some stuff, and and show you what my view of Etron. God, this can this is not good. Not enough mana to get to the payoffs. Okay, not red Tron is perfectly fine almost all the time. Yeah, uh, Magic Relic must might be might be suspicious, but I just I'm just having like 59 cards locked for now and looking for the 13th card I I'll be playing with. Okay, so let's start this way, and we will check what our opponent is playing with. Yeah, years and years of of break. I last time I've been streaming in like 2018 with Cutters Company back then, but since uh, since that time, a lot, a lot has changed. I guess we are an ad nauseum opponent. Oh, on the contrary, Pan Spirits, wow. Okay. Okay, I will start with Mindstone, just to use our mana and then play probably Ballista for 4 and check this out. Yeah, exactly, Ceteris. Hello there. Uh, yeah, it's been years, exactly. I like had no uh, no option to stream really. I have changed my my place of living, not by far, but <laughs> two times. Uh, yeah, so it has been like a long, long time since my last stream. So it was a different deck, different meta, everything was different. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, spirits. As I said, on the second guess, I'm kind of confused. <sighs> Boring midrange boomer, you say? I mean, I like midrange games quite a lot. That's why I'm playing Aldrazi Tron, I guess. Uh, yeah, but I haven't been playing Aldrazi on my uh, counter's company myself as well. Mm, okay, so let's put aside some discussions about Stream Decker. Uh, Okay, so I have two options. The first one is just to kill Supreme Phantom. Palista for four, shoot three times here and keep one one counter up. Second option is to play Thotland and think what next. Yeah, uh, yeah, I will come back to company company theme in, in a couple of minutes. What to do now? Okay, I will I think I will kill this now because if, if another uh, other spirits, lords will come down. I will have some huge, huge troubles dealing with them when they like pump themselves and the rest of the team. New company decks is like not a company I, anymore. They are not playing company. I think they are more focused on on infinite life combo, which in fact is much better than the one I've been playing back then mm, with Anafenza or Malira and Kitchen Things and and Vistars here. Uh, it's faster, but it's it's faster, easier. But as as at that time, I'm I'm still not in love. I mean, I love the deck, uh, the idea, the creature combo toolbox. But I'm not in a huge love with if it life against the meta that beats it that easily. If the phantasmal image will come right now, I'm like not doing much with this ballista anymore. Interesting. My opponent probably lets me untap. Hard to say why. I would like to use Relic, but they don't use Graveyard, and I just want to untap. That's it. Yep, so let's pump Ballista. Mm, okay, I will. I will do it now. I don't want to wait, I just want to kill this. If my opponent has Phantasmal Image, he has just messed it up. If he has another Lord, I will not use. I will not, wa will not waste any time, because this is like too much of a threat. Hey, Fish Lump Block! Yeah, I'm, I'm doing well, thank you very much. Uh, well, any thoughts about Abzan and company especially? It's a hard time for creature decks, I mean, mostly because of, of new printings that are not uh, not uh, well set up for for creature based meta. I mean, probably 
the time when uh, once upon a time was was legal it was probably the best time there was for, for a long time to play creature based decks because Bran and John was like beat uh, was beaten with uh, was beaten by um, by Titan decks and we didn't have to face uh, Ren and Six with our creature mana dorks and so on probably it was a good time okay so my opponent activated and put nothing so I guess it was either just a bluff because he has nothing or just or let's say we have we have read what our opponent was planning so creature decks are very difficult to play right now because cards like Ren and Six and uh, Small Teferi and even Force of Negation has uh, has pushed the power level of other decks like so much ahead that it's very difficult to, to chase them. Mm, so I think it's like not the best option, not the best choice. And it's hard for me to imagine that the deck like that will uh, will beat. Mm, that the deck like that can beat, for example. Main deck Karn with main deck Draft Diggers, Cage, Sorcerer, Spyglass, and everything else. Uh, okay, let's see if my opponent really has this. What does my image? Okay, so this was it for the whole time. Okay, it's not like the end of the world because they are still at 3 3, both of them. I will just draw a card. I guess maybe let's crack right now. I will crack really because it's irrelevant. I just want a red draw. Maybe let's let's make a redraw this way. Okay, so we have basically nothing. So let's red draw again. Maybe I shouldn't have played this. <sighs> Six mana only. Ah, oh, jeez, that's bad. Okay, so do they play main deck path to exile? If so, then I, I want to do it like that. Mm, because this is probably the only thing that that is scary for me. Next turn I will I will just sweep the board. Uh, I should have played Thoughtnot as well, I guess. Just a nice kick from my side. Yeah, because they can they cannot play Path to Exile in uh, while They can play all the twos, all the threes, and even even one mana spirits. But I don't care about that too much. Or maybe this was good because right now I can like clear the way for my thought not and and then sweep everything with all this dust. It's hard for me to imagine what they could have potentially have to to stop the all this dust. Like what? Force me to pay extra two? Not only instant speed this muscle in wonder, but doesn't matter. Okay, sure. So we are just going to So this Chison one was actually relevant. Let's get ready to rumble. So, company decks. Uh, difficult times. I would love to see company deck playable again, good again. Probably only Berting Pot Unban or something like that would make this possible because every other deck is like growing stronger and creatures are like pushed behind and behind with every new printing, every new set, like Small Teferi, Karn, Narset, and so on. And there is not a single good creature out there. Difficult time. But maybe we just have to wait for our time to come. Yeah, let's do it that way. No, Shimako Yot, Shimanko. Oh, so our opponent really hit Spellweather, I guess. Yeah, we're not gonna waste any time with that. So I'm at 10, I don't wanna hit, I don't wanna get caught by any other queller or rattle chains or something like that, so I'm just gonna dismember it. Uh, yep, we cast that. Uh, we cast that and wait. Okay, so 1 0 for us. So what we want to have post board? I think we don't want chalices. Oh, well, not stop their cavern, their ether vile, it's like 
Chalice is too late. I don't want that. I don't want this. I guess that Pitting Needle and Spike Dust are fine. Just stop Eater Vile is like quite important. Removal is good. Walking Ballista is good. What I don't need. Cavern might be fine. They might board in some like Unified Wheel, this Thankful Stroke, something like that. I think that Ghost Quarter might be, let's say, sort of okay because they might play some Mutal Vaults. This is probably the white version. Let's cut it, Tectonic Edge. Okay, so I have to put in one more card. I don't want any of these. Mm. Oh, rather than found this in instead of Tectonic Edge, just a random life gain, which I honestly really like. Which I honestly really like. Yeah, and speaking about creature decks again, if humans have troubles beating other decks, uh, then meta must be really hostile to creatures. Uh, like for example, Jant, like, he it, it has grown much much stronger than it used to be. Like single the friend and six can spoil the whole game. Mm. Honestly, I hate mulliganing hands that uh, that are that give us the possibility to go turn to Tron. Of course, they might have either like dumping sphere or some other stuff to to break that, but it's like just potentially too good if we hit corn and play bridge that's game if we hit like all this dust probably that's game maybe not with this on the battlefield but we can do it Ooh, so they are banned wow 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 again I am sort of surprised I am surprised indeed oh speaking of the devil okay I will wait with this card, I will wait just to. Uh, I will wait with the map. Sometimes I want to play against some random stifle effects or shadow of doubt, but I'm more afraid of dumping sphere. And if the dumping sphere comes down, I will probably fetch for uh, blast zone, load this stuff up, and then play my game from that spot. Lord is coming, or Probably the big lord even okay. So I get hit for four. We don't have pirate plant. I get hit for four. I'm at fourteen next turn probably another six or seven. Like go down to eight. I think I first of all have to. And first of all I can afford. And second of all I have to start with Tot not clear the way for for Karn. I mean when they are tapped out this is like quite safe to play Karn out but I don't think I want this just play it and lose it and if they have like this enchant or or the beauty of detention I'm, I'm just done with my best plan to win this game so if I play Karn and play mines no I cannot play Karn and mines and bridge one two if I play Karn I have like five cards left that's quite bad so I will start with Totten's here What do you have out there? Path to Exile Spirit Deputy. Uh, okay, let me start with Deputy. Uh, they will probably most likely Path Tottenham. But if they do so, I have some. I still have some time. I still have some time to to set up the bridge. Uh, okay, so they have drawn Cavern. Interesting. Okay, no attacks. Wow. Uh -huh, so that's quite strange. Why they are waiting? What for? Maybe they don't want to pump the team too much just to go under the bridge, but they don't know what I have. Why didn't you play those two guys or just puff in one of them? That's suspicious. So uh, mm -mm, I know your whole hand. So let's go with attack. After exit, sure. Yep. Oh, our last basic. 
yeah, I'm, I have drawn poorly with lands, but I'm kind of a huge fan of play all basics you can afford. Uh, okay, so I guess I I have to I already have to hide under the bridge. If they have drawn spell color, then I'm done anyway. Oh jeez, that was the draw. Okay, so the only card we didn't knew after the path was that sad story. Quite lucky for our opponent to hit exactly this, but honestly, we will like drop one card of, out of our hand, and my opponent still can attack with everything, and then probably play something in the middle of combat and blow my plan to hide under the bridge. Okay, that's game. Okay, this time we are on the play. I think that this... I haven't seen any single green card. This cannot be my be just for retro. So I guess I'm okay with this hand again. First of all, I want the play. Second of all... Hopefully their last card unknown in hand won't be spell card this time. Let me check this out. Uh, nope. This is not it. I'm looking how to active this stream decker. If you guys know how to act activate this, just let me know. Oh Jesus. This is the type of hand I really don't like. I mean it's not bad enough to Morrigan instantly, but it's not good to keep either. I mean double removal might be fine, but besides that I don't have anything like any pressure, just this. This gets killed almost immediately. Um but I guess I will keep this. I this hand stinks, but let me try it out. But to be honest, this hand is a stinker. If we draw good enough, maybe this double removal spell. I mean, it's very tempting to keep. If they their plan will be to to play Curse Obsession, we are so safe. Thanks, Kuga. Thanks. Jinky. I haven't started this in the best way I could. Okay, so nothing here. This was a good draw. I mean, with all the removal, I mean, all the removal is two actually. I would like to be the offensor here. I just pray not to get double path because the second one will be just no land for me again wow I would exchange those basics for anything but sadly I cannot okay so I guess my opponent has this path to exile and the question is whether they want to keep it for something like thought not but they cannot keep the up mana we'll see okay this is fine this is very fine because we can attack, we can kill something, hit them for six. Maybe in two turns, we'll play Smasher and get path, but it's okay. I mean, if they play like 2 2 Hexproof Lord, like I'm perfectly okay with this. I guess they will keep Skullcular up probably for Thought Node because probably this is something they expect to, to see in a second. Oh, another removal spell. I'm okay with this. But I just desperately need the fifth land for Smasher. Are we getting that? Are we getting what we want? Not yet. So they are waiting for this dot lot and they will not see it. Not because I don't want to play it, I just don't have it. Okay, so Puff is coming. That's fine. I mean, we knew about this. It's still better for me to get rid of, of Mother Reshaper than to get rid of Smasher. Not because they will not discard, just because I, I have like better pressure with this. Okay, so something is coming or not? Oh, they cannot play anything. Okay, because of the Dumping Sphere. So actually, right now they cannot even land Double Lord because of, of the mana constraint with Dumping Sphere. I guess this this is good for us. The worst thing in the world would be Collected Company, but I don't think they played 
For the two games, I haven't seen any single green card, just crazy canopy. Yep, and there is no canopy in blue white colors, so I guess I guess it's okay. Yeah, let's not wait. This is uncomfortable for them for their spot players, so let's just attack for eight and pray. Hmm, this name for stroke? Spell pillar, wow. Just like that? Okay, sure. This is like questionable play. Why play it before attack or something like this? Okay, so you go down to two. So what they can do right now? Not much actually, because of the dumping sphere. Lord and nothing. Okay, so I guess we have it. Like even pump spell on, on Smasher does it. Yeah, I've been playing a bunch with the deck recently. Not as much as like a half a year ago when I was on the trophy leaderboard on the top of it with Ultra Zitron, like 40 trophies and then going to Team GP and so on. But still, I am like quite prepared to play any, any bigger and smaller tournament with this. What's going on out there? Some one mana spell or two mana spell casted for only two? With the dumping sphere out? I don't think so. I don't think so, this is the case. Yeah, I will play some music. If you hear anything too loud or too, too not loud enough, just let me know. Hmm. Okay, so our opponent is deep in the tank, probably uh, get wrecked by their own dumping sphere. This is impossible for them to, to be alive. Wow, and they have even tapped it. I don't get this. Yep, that's the game. That's the match.